en quoi tu as Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will continue to hold the proceeding to hear observations and remarks by parties. L'audience a aujourd'hui pour but d'entendre les parties. Consequence of the decision by the. Supreme Court Chamber regarding the immediate appeal by the co-prosecutor against the Supreme Order regarding the scope of case 002-001. We have so far held two days of hearing regarding this very matter, but we have yet to conclude it. And today we will continue to hold it for this morning session. Nous so that hopefully the chamber will have matin. all the grounds. And then we will be able in a position à de ces deux jours et demi to pour make a decision and to expedite the proceedings in case 002-01 reprendre rapidement la procédure. We will first hear the responses by parties to supplementary questions Nous allons d'abord entendre les réponses des parties by aux questions additionnelles the trial chambre chamber in our memorandum on the 18th February 2013 where we issued it on the 19th February 2013 document E264 we may have additional questions to the parties e if deemed required nous pouvons aussi avoir des questions additionnelles pour les parties au besoin in order to expedite today's proceeding, and as we already reminded all parties yesterday, please look at the, the main points in all those questions in our memorandum carefully, and please respond directly to those questions in our document E264. Je parle bien ici du document E264. And we make a slight change to the process of the proceeding. So all parties are instructed to respond in full for all the questions raised in the memorandum, not one by one, but all in one time. And after one party concludes their response, then another party will be given the opportunity to reply or to respond. Donc, s'exprimer sur l'ensemble des questions posées dans le mémorandum, il y aura ensuite droit de réponse et réplique. We are of the view that time allocation is necessary. The co-prosecutors would Nous have 40 minutes. Limiter le temps de parole des parties. 40 the minutes pour les procureurs. Lawyers may add to what would be presented les by the co-prosecutors, so they would have 20 minutes. Ils disposeront and de 20 each minutes. Defense team will have chacune des équipes de défense aura minutes. 20 minutes pour présenter ses réponses. As for the response time to the last questions for the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers, we will see if there is needed and the time will be allocated accordingly. Nous verrons. Mr. Dutch Perry, could you report the attendance of the parties and the individuals to today's proceeding? Monsieur Dutch Perry, pouvez-vous faire un rapport sur la présence des parties? Dutch Perry, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, Monsieur all parties to this case are present, except except à l'exception. The accused in Sari, who is present in the holding cell downstairs due to his health concern. And another accused, Nguyen Chi, is absent due to his health reason and is being treated 
and being being arrested at the Il detention est... facility. A reçu des soins. However, through his counsel, Nunchi informed the chamber, although he is not present in today's proceeding, bien il pas he does not object to the proceeding. Il ne pas à la Thank tenue you. De la dite audience. Je vous remercie. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. Based on the information we received on the 18th February 2013, the proceeding regarding the severance of the case, we observed some challenging issues. Poursuite, nous avons As a result, we request further information from parties and followers. Et c'est pourquoi nous posons We des questions supplémentaires aux parties. The, the co to the il est, un, il est demandé au procureur d'indiquer case de la décision de renvoi qui, selon eux, devrait être inclue dans la portée de l'examen poursuite. Dans le cadre du premier procédé de l'examen in de document E163 dated 27 January 2013 the closing order in case 475 of the closing order in case 0002 so so that S21 can be included allegations factuelles relatives au centre de sécurité S21 Based on the scheduling of the trial chamber, certain additional paragraphs should be added La chambre a considéré qu'il serait utile d'ajouter in order to render coherent these proposed extensions in a particular paragraphs 949 to 974. In addition to paragraphs 178 to 207, 207, 916, 916, 916, 916, même Even si l'ajout d'allégations factuelles supplémentaires may have an additional consequential impact avoir une on witnesses to be heard and documents relevant to the trial. Et de documents à produire au débat. Further, and should the co-prosecutors seek to add grave breaches charges in outre, consequence et dans le cas où les co of a proposed extension to grave des conventions de Genève en S21 conséquence de des relatives au centre de sécurité S21, ainsi qu'il a été suggéré à l'audience d'hier. Further paragraphs in the indictment, namely paragraphs 1550 to 1515 would need to be added and additional evidence possibly adduced specifically in relation to armed conflict and its international character. Cela sous-entend qu'il faudra présenter éventuellement d'autres éléments reason, particulièrement en ce qui concerne le conflit armé et son caractère to consider this information and provide a definitive list of all indictment paragraphs la Chambre demande donc au procureur d'étudier ces questions et de fournir une liste définitive de tous les paragraphes de la décision de renvoi qu'il propose pour leur inclusion dans la portée des poursuites dans le cadre du premier procès dans le dossier numéro 2. And 
In consequence of the SCC decision, the Chamber has already received numerous requests from the parties for the adjournment of the proceedings la a déjà reçu de nombreuses demandes de la part des or relaxation of other trial deadlines. De de All parties are invited to comment on the below proposed trial schedule for the following weeks pour les semaines à venir. And the timing of the decision on severance in Et la décision révisée qui sera rendue relativement à la disjonction des poursuites en tenant compte des considérations suivantes. One, Tout d'abord, the health of the accused has been considered by the trial chamber. L'état de santé des accusés and est un facteur que la chambre de première instance considère. Chamber, la as Chambre de la Cour suprême s'étant rangée à cet avis comme étant un facteur déterminant dans toute décision à prendre concernant la portée du procès. Les experts médicaux doivent être entendus par la Chambre à la mi-mars 2013. Et le rapport de l'évaluation peut avoir une incidence en ce qui concerne la détermination de la portée des poursuites. True. A written decision on severance with extensive reasoning une décision has been mandated relative à la disjonction des poursuites du moins motivé tel que requis par la Chambre de la Cour suprême will very likely not be available in true official ne sera vraisemblablement e pas mis à disposition dans les trois langues officielles des CETC for avant deux to three à weeks. trois semaines. Three. Troisièmement, the testimony of experts Philip Short has been scheduled for next week. La déposition and du Elizabeth témoin expert Becker Philip Short est programmée la semaine prochaine. Et celle du témoin expert Elizabeth Becker est pour le moment prévue la semaine d'après. Philip Short's availability is very limited, as is Elizabeth Becker's. Who has already been que ces deux témoins experts twice. sont rarement disponibles et il faut aussi rappeler que la déposition d'Elisabeth Becker a déjà été reportée deux fois. If these experts si are not heard, ces témoins experts ne sont pas auditionnés, it is likely that the chamber will lose the ainsi qu'il est actuellement prévu, il est probable que la Chambre sera privée de toute opportunité de les entendre. Should witnesses scheduled to testify prior to a written severance decision be postponed? Finalement, la déposition or, des témoins devant comparaître avant que soit rendue la décision écrite relative à la disjonction de poursuite doit-elle être différée ou, à titre subsidiaire, parties, ces témoins peuvent-ils déposer au moins en ce qui concerne la portée du premier order, procès telle qu'elle était comprise par and toutes les parties avant l'annulation de l'ordonnance de disjonction et des décisions s'y rapportant. The chamber requests parties to comment in relation to the following de individuals de whose testimony is scheduled les témoins suivants qui doivent déposer très prochainement à savoir Philippe Short, Philippe Short Elizabeth Becker, Elizabeth Becker. TCW 724, TCW 794, TCW 1000, TCW 1100, TCW 110. Et TCW 110. Et pour obtenir la plus accurate de procédures, That would afin d'évaluer le plus précisément possible la durée de prolongation des débats qui probablement s'en suivent. Si la demande n'est qu'au procureur visant à inclure l'examen des allégations factuelles relatives au centre de sécurité S21 est accueilli, il est demandé aux parties de faire part de leur position sur les points suivants. Tout les coprocureurs ont estimé que le temps supplémentaire nécessaire dans le cas de l'extension de la portée du premier procès aux allégations factuelles correspondrait tout au plus à l'audition ou à une nouvelle audition de cinq personnes, à savoir Kang Gek Eo, TCCP, 21, 21, TCW 69, 
journée de l'audience supplémentaire. Il demande également à produire approximativement 200 documents de plus, ce qui nécessiterait la tenue d'une audience supplémentaire consacrée à leur examen. La Chambre demande au procureur de confirmer ces estimations et de plus, clarifier la question de savoir s'ils ont ou non l'intention d'inclure les allégations factuelles relatives à S24 récentes dans le cadre de l'extension proposée de la portée du procès. Deuxièmement, The premise that the proposed extension could be accomplished following only a limited number of hearing days selon laquelle l'extension proposée peut être réalisée moyennement to participate in seulement un nombre limité de journées supplémentaires dépend de l'aptitude des accusés à participer au procès the chamber ou de leur propension à renoncer à leur droit d'être présents au procès. The la Chambre relève que pendant la plus grande partie des deux derniers mois, or more of un ou plusieurs des accusés ont été hospitalisés. The trial was able to continue only because the accused waived les their rights to be present in relation to the hearing of a limited number of individuals. Could personnes. the defense teams indicate whether their client's willingness to waive their rights to be present les de will continue in the event si the accused were unable to attend to proceedings? And the above individuals où les accusés ne soient pas en mesure de participer au débat et que les personnes subventionnées devant déposer au sujet du centre de sécurité 21 comparaissent devant la Chambre, à savoir les cinq personnes mentionnées ci haut. The last point that is the number three. En dernier lieu, could the co-prosecutors clarify whether the estimates of time required for the conclusion of a new S21 trial segment depends on the admission of transcripts from case 001 in light of the criteria for the introduction of trial transcripts from other trials in the trial chamber's decision that is document 1996. The defense teams should address whether or not they would seek to contest the admission into evidence of case 001 transcripts presented in S21, to which the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers may respond. Les procureurs ainsi que les co-avocats principaux pour les parties civiles and pourront répondre aux équipes de défense. And the lead co-lawyers will be given the opportunity to respond later to this last point. Ou plutôt, les procureurs ainsi que les co-avocats principaux pourront répondre à ce dernier point. J'aimerais maintenant laisser la parole à l'accusation pour répondre à l'ensemble des questions posées par la Chambre dans son mémorandum. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, uh, Your Honors, and good morning to everyone. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour. Uh, let me start um, with the uh, first question in paragraph two of your memo, which concerns asks us to specify the additional paragraphs. Um, as, we, as is referenced in your memo, um, and as we previously advised the trial chamber uh, last year in our filing uh, for the August 2012 trial management meeting. Uh, in addition to the four allegations of the closing order on S21, which are paragraphs 415 through 475, the trial chamber should also include if S21 is added, the following paragraphs. Paragraph 178 through paragraph 204. That's 178 through 204. This is the section of the closing order that sets out the JCE policy relating to security centers, killing of enemies and purges. In addition, uh, paragraphs 916 through 974 should be included. That's 916 through 974. 
These are the paragraphs relating to Noon Chea's participation in security centers and executions, including S21. Uh, similarly, paragraphs uh, 1048 through 1089 would be included. Uh, these are uh, paragraphs relating to Ng Suri's participation in security centers and executions, including S21. And similarly, for Q Sampan, a paragraph 1172 through 1190 should be added. Now, the uh, memorandum that was issued by the trial chamber on Tuesday afternoon that uh, Your Honor just read, uh, also asked whether paragraphs 207 through 209 and paragraphs 975 through 977 uh, also needed to be added. Uh, the answer to that is no. Uh, and the reason is that those paragraphs uh, were already included by the trial chamber in the scope of case 002-01. And uh, I would refer the trial chamber to document E124-7.3. E124-7.3, where you will see that those paragraphs have uh, already been included. Uh, in the uh, original scope. In regards to the uh, closing order allegations regarding grave breaches and the existence of an armed conflict, uh, we agree that the trial chamber needs to include uh, the one page of allegations uh, regarding the car armed conflict. Uh, that is found in paragraphs 150 through 155. And in addition, the relevant uh, paragraphs setting out the uh, legal elements or characteristics of grave breaches of offenses, uh, which would be the following. And uh, I note that we have some uh, slight uh, minor corrections to the paragraphs that are identified in, in your memo. Um, the paragraphs, paragraphs we believe need to be included would be uh, 1480 through 1484 and 1487 1488. Uh, I note here that two paragraphs that were in, the, in your memorandum, 1485 and 1486, uh, need not be included as they relate to different crime sites or events, uh, specifically the Old Kansang Security Center and the issue of military incursions into Vietnam. Uh, in addition, the trial chamber should include paragraphs 1491 through 1493. Uh, again, I note here just a slight correction. The memorandum had proposed 1491 through 92. Uh, the allegations regarding S21 was extended through 1493. And in addition, uh, 1498 through 1510 and 1515 the uh, chamber also asks us in this question uh, to comment on whether the addition of these paragraphs would have any significant impact uh, on the witnesses and evidence uh, needed to be heard by the chamber uh, other than that which is already uh, planned or proposed. And the general answer to this question is no. Uh, as I will um, show you with some examples Je vais um, des examples the evidence pour vous uh, that the trial chamber requires to adjudicate these issues la uh, is either already before the court, sont soit déjà uh, for example, elle, witness testimony uh, that has already been heard, documents entendu, already admitted, uh, or is evidence that will be heard through the remaining witnesses uh, that the parties have proposed or that the trial chamber had already planned here as part of case 002-01. And because this is uh, a concern that you have expressed, I want to take a few minutes 
à soulever un motif de préoccupation. Et je reconnais le temps d'allocation, donc je ne vais probablement pas aller dans autant de détails ici que j'ai prévu. But I want to take you through some of these additional paragraphs uh, to show you why, to demonstrate why they would not require significant new evidence uh, beyond that uh, which has already been heard or is planned to be heard. And I would start here with, uh, as an example, the uh, paragraphs that I mentioned that needed to be added regarding the JCE policy on security centers and execution sites. And if your honors review those paragraphs, you will see uh, that the evidence cited is very familiar. The start uh, of the uh, section uh, is actually a repeat of general début, allegations that were included générales in paragraphs 156 to 159. Uh, which were already part of the case, and they talk about the general policy citing to evidence such as Doig to David Chandler uh, to revolutionary flag publications. If you look at paragraph 179, as we proceed through this section, uh, there is a discussion uh, of the Constitution of Democratic Camp Chia, a document that was already part of the proceedings of this court and is admitted. Uh, the next paragraph, paragraph 180, states the CPK used several methods to identify those who had carried out activities against the state, including requiring people to write biographies and attend self-criticism meetings. As this chamber knows, this is an issue that has been addressed extensively in this trial uh, in relation to the ex existing allegations in case 00201. The following parts of this paragraph uh, describe the general procedures for interrogation and torture and are all based on sites to the testimony of Doig. Going to the, the section of uh, that is titled Dates and Participation, uh, again we say the same uh, issue. Même Paragraph chose. 182 Paragraph are issues that overlap Ici, with the historical background section of this trial uh, and concern the uh, uh, pre-1975 events that we have covered. The sites are to Doig. Uh, minutes of general staff meetings, which is an issue I did a presentation on uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and Interestingly, the testimony of TCW 110, uh, one of the upcoming witnesses who is referenced in the uh, trial chamber's memo. The next paragraph, 183, uh, the subject of it is the July 1975 meeting uh, at which many RAK members attended. The trial chamber will recall that this was an issue that was covered with both of the last two witnesses, military witnesses who testified, uh, and is a, a meeting that is memorialized in the August 1975 revolutionary flag, which is an admitted document. And then there is a reference to other RAK meetings, which again are the general staff meetings uh, that are in evidence and that I presented to this chamber uh, again a few weeks ago. The next paragraph, 184, uh, concerns standing committee meetings uh, at which these policies were discussed. Standing, the standing committee and its meetings is, of course, an issue that was already part of case 002-01, and those documents are all in evidence already. The following paragraph concerns two party circulars from September 1975, already admitted and the subject of testimony and pre presented in these proceedings. The next paragraph, 186, Ensuite, concerns the March 1976 Ça Central Committee decision uh, regarding uh, the authority for smashing. Once again, 
Uh, this is a document nouveau, that is admitted. Ce document is a admitted. document that has been the subject of testimony by witnesses, including Doik and Chandler. The rest of this paragraph concerns that issue of uh, the various or organizations in Democratic Campuchia and their authority relating to security. Uh, this is an issue already covered as part of the authority structure section of case 00201. Paragraph 187 concerns the People's Ensuite, Representative Assembly meetings that were held in April 1976, another document that is already before the Chamber and an issue that has been the subject of testimony with a number of witnesses. And I could continue on uh, through de the remaining paragraphs. For example, paragraph 190 that concerns uh, June 1978 Central Committee, a document called Guidance uh, that was a re revision of their policy on uh, enemies. Uh, this is a document that is admitted, and the two witnesses that that are cited uh, in this paragraph are both witnesses who have been questioned about this document, Doik and Sao Sarun. I make this presentation so that, as the trial chamber has expressed concern uh, over whether these additional paragraphs will require new evidence, and I could take you through uh, each uh, of the sections. In fact, I had done that for others, but because of the time limits, uh, I will um, move on to the next, uh, move on to, to the armed conflict issue. Uh, but if the trial chamber has uh, any question uh, as to whether uh, any doubt about this, uh, I am certainly prepared to go through uh, each of the different uh, groups of paragraphs that would be added to demonstrate to you that uh, they will not require uh, significant new, new evidence. Uh, and I would just add here very quickly that the reason for this, as I have mentioned, is not because parties have been regularly exceeding the scope of uh, the case 00201 allegations. It is because these issues are part of, uh, it, uh, of matters that were already included, whether they relate to historical background, they relate to the authority structures, communications. And I would just note here uh, quickly uh, for you as an example, some of the paragraphs that were already part of the closing order that address these issues and are the reason that we have already covered much of this. For example, in the historical background section of the closing order, paragraphs 21 and 23, uh, that incorporated the development of the CPK policy authorizing the use of revolutionary violence to eliminate enemies. In the administrative and communications structure section of the closing order uh, were included allegations regarding the arrests and execution of Central Committee members, that is paragraphs 38, 43, and 50. It included the authority of the Standing Committee to order arrests in paragraph 41. It included the role of S-71 in monitoring suspected party members and conducting arrests and transfers to S-21, that is in paragraph 53. That section included the issue of reporting to the Standing Committee on Enemies, Traitors, and Internal Security Matters in paragraphs 76 to 77. It included the arrests of cadres called to Phnom Penh for study meetings in paragraphs 87 to 88. And it included the issue of broadcast of Vietnamese uh, POW confessions from S21 in paragraph 112. And similarly, the military structure section of the closing order, which is part of case 002-01, includes allegations 
regarding the responsibility of the RAK for, quote, the defense of the CPK rule against perceived enemies and spies within the armed forces, the party, and the country as a whole, end of quote. That is from paragraph 117. It included the responsibility of the party's military committee, including Nguyen Chea, for the operation of S21. That is paragraphs 122 to 123. It included reporting to the center on the discovery of internal enemies in paragraph 137. It included purges of internal enemies that were conducted under the orders of the CPK Center. That is in paragraphs 146 through 149. And also it included the use of S21 for the interrogation and arrest of alleged traitors in paragraph 145. And I will also just briefly note here, en Your bref, Honors, that there are also paragraphs in the sections of the roles of the accused that related to these issues. For example, in exemple, the case of Noon Chea, uh, paragraphs 873 to 879 were already part of case 002-01. The title of that section of the closing Cette order is Noon Chea's role in CPK security apparatus. De de sécurité du PCK. So that is the reason why voilà we submit la raison pour uh, that S21 and these issues can S21 be tried uh, without faire uh, it, why jugement. it is manageable and why it will not require any substantial new evidence for this chamber to hear. Uh, briefly on the issue of armed conflict. Sur la question du conflit armé à présent. I note that the, um, first of all, that the new paragraphs in the closing order Dans de are culture, relatively short, les sont assez but court. also that these are factual Dans issues, as you can see, factuelles. if you look at the footnotes On peut le voir si on uh, that are cited in the closing les order, de bas de page de uh, that are relied upon and proven by documentary evidence. Most of the evidence uh, cited in the closing order on this issue are contemporaneous documents from the DK period that reflect the existence of the armed conflict, such as uh, telegrams and reports reporting to the leaders in Phnom Penh on conflicts with Vietnamese forces. These are documents that have been put before the chamber already in our annex uh, it also, this issue is also proven Cette by uh, minutes of standing committee meetings and meetings of the general staff uh, where the conflict was discussed amongst the leaders, documents that we have already put before the trial chamber through our Annex 3, and also uh, cited our uh, government statements, statements of the Democratic Kampuchea government and broadcasts from the government media, documents which have been submitted in Annex 5. So, Your Cinq. Honor, there is already Donc, uh, a large amount of evidence before you on this issue, and I can give you some specific numbers here. Devant la chambre. Uh, there are already a total of 5,037 documents to date that have either have E3 numbers and have been admitted or have been put before the chamber and subject to adversarial hearings. Of those documents, 694, 694 documents contain information relevant to the armed conflict including 130 telegrams and reports telegrams sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh, 15 statements issued by the Democratic Kampuchea government, 83 reports from the DK uh, media, media du and 63 international et media reports. All of this are contemporaneous records in evidence which document the existence of the armed conflict in Vietnam, and I, I would note these same documents prove the accused knowledge of that conflict because they are reports sent to them and they are meetings in which they participated. 
pour en discuter lors de réunions. And if there are any remaining significant documents relating to the armed conflict, des documents we would also include them uh, with the additional armé, documents that we would present, les documents um, que nous présenterons uh, submit regarding S21. And as I indicated, this is something we can do Comme in a dit, short time frame uh, should you uh, issue an order adding S21. Où la chambre rendrait une ordonnance incluant S21. We do not, if you look at the evidence in the closing si order, it does not rely heavily on witness testimony. On we do not believe the trial chamber would need to hear yeux, new witnesses specifically relating to the armed conflict. Au sujet du conflit um, armé. First, I, I would note that where the closing order does cite witnesses, uh, they are witnesses, some of whom have already been heard by this court, such as Doik, entendu, par exemple, Son Doik, Sokun, Sokun, and in one case, a witness um, who has been proposed to be heard uh, as part of S21, TCW 540. And I would also uh, note for the chamber that there are two outre, or three upcoming il y a deux ou military trois structure witnesses who the chamber has already planned to hear. Les TCW, TCW 110, TCW 253, TCW 398. Each of these three military cadres were persons who were assigned to the border conflict with Vietnam in late 1977 or early 1978. Um, so, like with the other Vietnam, paragraphs of the closing order, uh, our position is that donc, um, ces the, uh, the trial of this issue would not require uh, any significant new additional evidence to be heard by the chamber. Que la chambre examine un grand nombre d'éléments de preuve supplémentaires. A couple of just quick logistical points, suggestions, if you will, et propositions um, de that I would make um, that may uh, allow. Uh, us to save some time on these issues. Dans le but de du temps. Uh, the trial chamber's practice in the past has been passé, to separately review the footnotes of uh, de closing de order paragraphs, de to review the documents cited and to assign them E3 numbers. Les documents cités uh, et it may be possible for you not to do that here. Ne sera pas uh, de le faire I can dans tell le you présent. that in submitting our document list, the first thing we did was go through the closing order and we endeavored to include uh, in our document lists every document cited in the closing order. So I'm not sure whether the, perhaps the trial chamber has a system worked out that allows it to do this quickly, but if not, you can rely on our document lists. We included in our document lists everything cited in the closing order. Therefore, if it is a time-consuming process for you to go through footnote by footnote, you can rely on our, our submissions of the relevant documents on that issue. concernant les documents pertinents. The uh, other logistical the president, Le president. as for the time uh, allocated to you, uh, you were given uh, 40 minutes, and now uh, we have to um, be specific with uh, the uh, time allocated by the chamber and the chamber envisaged that we could uh, finish uh, hearing the views of all parties uh, this morning. Actually, the chamber, what the chamber is asking is the specific list concerning specific paragraph that the chamber uh, seek uh, your views and the prosecutor is expected to uh, indicate to the chamber that these uh, paragraphs are relevant to the uh, request for the expansion of the scope. So uh, please uh, 
Express your view d'extension uh, de la portée du procès. Such, vous êtes prié de uh, vous exprimer à ce sujet uh, précisément afin de ne pas perdre de temps. Can you please advise the chamber as to how much time uh, you need uh, to address this issue because we have a few more questions and uh, these questions need to be addressed by the uh, co-prosecutors and particularly the last question which is uh, en la question. subject to a lot of um, questions as well, so that the chambers débat. will have the basis for the decision on this issue. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I've started at 9.25, so I'm endeavoring to finish by my, four, my 40 minutes. Um, the, uh, this first question was the time that I had planned to spend the most time on. The other questions are more easily answered. But because, because your questioning not, did not just ask us about the paragraphs to include, it asked us to comment on whether including these paragraphs would require additional evidence. That is a fairly complex question. And we wanted to be absolutely certain that our, that our position was clear and explained as to why, why, we, why we believe that, not just stating our, our position, but explaining why. So I will, I will move on now to the next, uh, next présent, question uh, that the Chamber has asked, and that concerns uh, the issue of how to proceed, particularly with witnesses uh, pending the trial Chamber's decision on severance. Uh, in regard to the uh, comments of the, uh, that, as to the effect of the medical expert testimony that is to take place, we understand that des témoins, des that may have an effect down the road. However, déposer, the experts are likely only to be able to tell us whether the dit, accused are currently fit, whether they are si currently fit at this time. It's very unlikely that medical experts can give us any sort of precise time period to tell us prévisions. they're going to remain fit for another en two disant, months, par exemple, les six months, or two years. Deux mois, so mois, ans, while certainly this is a consideration it's not something uh, that I think would, uh, you would need to delay your, your hearing or delay your decision until. Que cela retarder le déroulement des uh, concerning um, uh, Philip Short and uh, Elizabeth Philippe Becker, Short, Elizabeth Becker. Uh, the first thing, I, we just want to note that the trial chamber's memorandum indicates Dans that memorandum, Philip Short is scheduled for uh, next week. De Philippe Short est pour uh, la our understanding had been that Nous next week there was a planned recess and that Philip Short was scheduled to arrive on the 4th Short of March. Uh, so we just wanted to clarify with the chamber whether uh, that remains the case that Philip Short will start on the 4th of March or Philippe whether Short his testimony has been moved up to next, to next week, mars, as we are unclear on that. Uh, however, on the issue of whether there is any legitimate reason to Quant postpone hearing si witnesses pending your decision. De uh, our answer is that there is none. To the contrary, uh, to que ensure the expeditious completion of this trial, we believe you should procès, resume witness testimony as soon as possible. And specifically, with relation to Philip Short and Elizabeth Concernant Becker, Short Becker, the trial chamber has already authorized these experts to be examined on the full scope Autoriser l'interrogatoire de ces témoins sur l'ensemble de la portée du dossier 002. Je vous envoie un mémorandum de la Chambre daté du 25 mai 2012, qui le fait porter sur quatre experts, Chandler, Short, Short, Becker et un autre expert dont la déposition n'a pas été programmée. La Chambre in this memorandum, the Chamber provides advance notice to the parties that it will examine the above proposed experts on all issues on which they are able to testify within the scope of the case to closing order. Uh, this is why when David Chandler came to testify, he was examined on the full scope of case 002, and the trial chamber has already authorized the same for Elizabeth Becker and Philip Short. Short et Becker. Because of that, uh, because these are experts who will be examined on Comme the full scope des of case qui 002, sur tout le there is 002. no reason whatsoever not to proceed Il a with raison their testimony de as planned. Leur with regard to uh, TCW 
724 et TCW 794. Nous avons été surpris de voir qu'ils étaient inclus dans la liste. These were the chamber. We'll recall that back la in August 2012, at the trial management meeting, parties were invited to propose witnesses on the phase one list who they believe need not be heard. Concernant la phase 1, uh, and qui ne devrait pas in document E236, paragraph 2, uh, recorded the results of that proceeding. Uh, at the hearing, uh, we uh, suggested both of these witnesses need not be heard. Uh, there was no opposition entendu, from any of the parties. Um, uh, so for that reason, we were not sure whether Donc, uh, the inclusion of these witnesses on this list nous, nous uh, was a oversight, de la as de these people have not been part of the uh, uh, lists of upcoming witnesses that we have been receiving. Or, or whether the trial chamber has made a determination that, uh, notwithstanding our indication, that it has reasons it wishes to hear from these two witnesses. But it remains our position that these are two witnesses témoins, that uh, nous, we do not believe need to be heard. Uh, um, and uh, if, if they are heard, however, entendus, uh, I would note that uh, TCW 724 is a, a very elderly witness, and he would therefore uh, fall avancé. into the uh, donc, category of people that the trial chamber has authorized examination on the full scope des gens of qui case 002. Du 002. And uh, with respect to the other two Concernant witnesses, it is also our position témoins, that the trial chamber uh, should go forward. Um, it seems likely that uh, if the trial chamber issues a decision si in two to three weeks, that these witnesses would probably semaines, come after that. However, um, both, if not, our position would be that the party should proceed to examine on the full scope of the case 002, but within the same time limits that the court already established. No additional time would be needed or granted. And let me turn now to the uh, last uh, group of questions uh, in your memo. Um, first, we are asked to confirm our projections for the time of the proposed S21 witnesses uh, and the number of documents. I do confirm that. I would note that the 200 number represented the uh, S21 prisoner lists and S21 confessions. As I indicated, 600 of those documents have already been admitted. 200 remain. Um, there is another, as I said, there will be some more miscellaneous documents in addition to that. Um, so it will be, the best estimate would be somewhere uh, around 250, no more than that. C'est maximum 250 documents. The question of whether the co-prosecutors seek to add S24, the answer is no, S24? we do not. La réponse est non. Uh, those are, that is a separate part of the closing Cela order that we do not propose to be included. Clôture, dont nous ne proposons pas l'inclusion. Uh, question, issue number two in question your paragraph four, four du paragraphe 4 à présent. is the concern about the number of hearing dates given the sickness of the accused, de dans le contexte, that is obviously a concern to all, all of us, Cela, bien sûr, but it is true tous. for all aspects of this trial. Pour tous les de ce and if the accused, for some reason, si pour une raison ou were unable to continue to participate in this trial anymore because of their health, en raison de leur état de santé. the truth is, Your Honors, we will Alors, not be able to finish any part of this trial. So we certainly hope that that is not nous the case. Le cas. We will be hearing, of course, from experts. I note la that experts, the last sûr, two months uh, is the okay. cold season in Cambodia. Uh, uh, it is, it is a, a time, probably, fraîche. a difficult time, particularly for elderly people. Pour pour les Pusen Pan âgés, himself, who is a relatively healthy person, was sick. The bottom line, uh, Your Honors, is that adding S21 uh, does not fundamentally change enfin, the scenario. We simply do not know how long the three accused will be able to participate. We do know, however, that we must try to make this trial reasonably representative in order to comply with the Supreme Court's decision. 
The last question is, could the co-prosecutors clarify whether their time estimates depend on the admission of transcripts? The quick answer to that is no. Our time estimates do not depend on what is decided on that issue. Um, and just to use my last few minutes, let me just explain uh, a little bit uh, about this issue. And I go back again to the uh, fact that when this issue was first discussed back in August 2012, the trial chamber expressed its view that no uh, witnesses needed to be heard in court regarding S21 because the court could rely on uh, written records, statements uh, that were uh, pursuant to its decision on the admission of written statements. Now, we propose that uh, it was necessary to hear a minimal number of witnesses, uh, and that is why we propose Doig and the four witnesses. But it remains true, as the trial chamber indicated uh, in, its, uh, in that document, that the trial chamber will be entitled, pursuant to its decision, E-96-7 to rely on uh, other witness statements, not for anything related to the acts or conducts of the accused, and we do not propose that, but it is entitled to rely on other witness statements where they are cumulative of issues that are heard from live witnesses in court. So our position remains, uh, as it has been, uh, that uh, any testimony uh, from case one is subject to the same standards, where they are witnesses who have been, who have appeared here and testified and been examined by the accused. Uh, there is no question about their miscibility. Uh, if they have not, uh, then they are subject to that test. They cannot be used for acts and conducts of the accused. They can be used where cumulative of uh, other allegations relating to S21. So, in simple, the answer to your question is no. Your ruling and your admission of these documents would not affect uh, our position on the witnesses that need to be heard. La recevabilité de ces documents n'aura aucun impact sur les témoins entendus. I just want to make a comment and actually ask the prosecutor if they don't think that this is a relevant factor. Um, it pertains to the medical experts. Um, obviously, the main question is uh, to provide um, the foundations for a fitness decision, but uh, I would guess that it's also possible that they are saying, yes, they are fit, but only to sit half a day, only to participate half a day or only three days a week or whatever. Wouldn't the prosecution agree that under these circumstances, the uh, medical expertise is a relevant sector uh, for any decision of the chamber on severance, because it has a, might potentially have um, a grave impact on the question or on the assessment of prolongation of possible prolongation of time. Well, my response to that would be, uh, yes, the, the experts may say that uh, our recommendation is that they only participate for half days. What I'm saying, Your Honor, is, is that there is no way those experts are going to be able to tell you whether they would be fit to continue doing that for six months, eight months, or a year, or two years. So, uh, ultimately, uh, these medical experts cannot tell you that we will not be able to complete Ces these issues. They may give you guidance. They can tell you whether they are there. There is no translation in Khmer. Could you please check? In Khmer, at least. Could you coordinate with the interpreters and check if there is any technical issue? pour voir s'il y a un problème technique.
President, the co-prosecutor, you may resume. Oui, vous pouvez poursuivre, Monsieur le Procureur. Please uh, make your response uh, once again, as there was no translation. Oui, vous répétez ce que vous avez dit, car nous n'avons pas entendu l'interprétation. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Le Procureur, merci, Monsieur le Président. So. Uh, my response, um, yeah. Judge Fenz, is la juge that, uh, yes, uh, it is conceivable that oui. we will learn Il information from this that could be relevant as to how this trial proceeds, uh, but I would maintain that it's very unlikely that these experts, even if they said uh, that the uh, accused should only sit for half days, they would not be able to tell us whether they can continue doing so for two months, six months, eight months, one year. So they will not be able to give us the answer as to how much time we have to complete this trial. And it's for that reason that we, that we think that their opinion, opinions, um, well, certainly of of, of interest donc, même si um, will not be determined uh, on this issue. Sont intéressants, je ne pense pas que ce soit un facteur déterminant sur cette question. Uh, Le président. President, the co-prosecutor, it seems that you haven't given any clear response to our question. Donner une réponse claire. As during uh, the proceeding on the 18th February 2013, the co-prosecutor requested to extend the scope of S21 as well as the coverages of the Geneva Convention related to S21 Security Center and that you require 11 Et court days. Vous aviez suggéré le chiffre de 11 jours we put the follow-up questions to you Nous vous avons posé une question regarding the different sujet. observations made by the trial chamber and the co-prosecutors as for your request for extension of the scope in case 02-01. And you said that additional paragraphs should be added. As for the additional documents requested, paragraph de on de the 18th February 2013, you said that the documents should be in the total of 200, and now you said it could be up to a maximum of 250 documents. And it is possible documents that a document hearing oui. might be held. Mais it's est possible qu'il soit nécessaire de tenir une audience consacrée à l'examen de ces before the chamber. documents. For that reason, we request your comment on the request to extend the scope of the proceeding, including S21 and the Great British of the Geneva Convention. L'élargissement du champ du procès pour inclure les allégations factuelles relatives à S21 et les violations graves de la Convention de Genève, toujours en lien avec S21. And whether your estimated court days et nous cherchons à savoir si cette estimation remain the same or there could be a change to these proposed court days. Si votre estimation demeure telle as this is also relevant to other parties' uh, responses. Because if at the moment uh, you think that it's going to take only 11 court days, but uh, in reality it's going to take 30 court days, and that's going to have an impact on the scheduling by the trial chamber. Could you please give us your comment on the concrete court days that uh, you required for your request of the extension of the scope, and this is the gist of what we want from you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let, me, let me be clear. Uh, the 11 days uh, was the proposed total time for the hearing of the five witnesses. The court certainly has its authority uh, to establish time limits as it is done and to hold the parties to that. Uh, so there is no reason for us to believe it would take longer than that because the parties respect the time limits set by this court. Uh, we would require uh, a hearing 
imposée par les 200 à 250 documents. Same types of documents Ceci that have already been admitted, de, de subject to argument by the parties. So I don't think débat. that this would be a lengthy hearing. It would be at most une, one day, and I would expect even shorter. Une audience sur les documents uh, in bien terms longue, of other time that would be required, suffirait, that would depend on whether the trial chamber, uh, reste, whether the defense teams had any legitimate witness proposals that the trial des chamber deemed necessary. If they did not, we would complete in a total of 12 days. If you wish to sign four days further si for defense witnesses, it would be 16 days. days. Uh, and that is, those are matters that are within uh, your determination based on uh, the other party's requests. In terms of what we are saying is necessary, uh, 11 days of witness hearings, one day of document hearings pourra fluctuer tout dépendant de ce que vous décidez, mais nous avons proposé 11 journées pour les 5 témoins et une journée pour euh, les documents. Arkun. Président, thank you. Merci. Co-prosecuteur, you may be seated. Vous pouvez vous asseoir. The floor is now given to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties. Euh, à la partie civile. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à Good morning, Mr. Monsieur le Juge et bonjour à tous. Good morning, Your Je vais laisser la parole à ma consoeur Limaï Guyenne pour répondre aux questions 3 et 4, puis je répondrai très rapidement aux autres questions en complément de ce qu'ont indiqué Messieurs les Procureurs. Merci. Merci. Le Président, allez-y. If it pleases Your Honours, I will be addressing points 3 and 4 within paragraph 3 of your supplementary memo concerning the scheduling of witnesses in relation to the timing of a full and reasoned order, which Your Honours have anticipated will take around two or three weeks to issue. Your Honour, the enfin, real issue is the scheduling of witnesses in a context where the scope and factual allegations to which the witnesses can address is uncertain. Two immediate questions arise. The first one is, what, if any prejudice, is caused to any party where witnesses are heard before the scope of the trial is known? And secondly, Deuxième question qui vient à l'esprit. What is the effect of scheduling witnesses prior to the severance order? One possible effect would be the undesirability, inefficiency, inconvenience, and logistical difficulties presented by the possible need to recall witnesses. At this point, the lives of witnesses, particularly expert witnesses, most of whom reside overseas and who have busy schedules are greatly inconvenienced every time they are scheduled and then cancelled. <coughs> the expert witness Elizabeth Becker has not been postponed twice. She has in fact been rescheduled at least four times. Philip Short has also been rescheduled several times. It is of course extremely important that the expert witnesses are heard. They offer specific and specialized knowledge about a distinct part of Cambodia's history and contribute to the overall fact-finding outcomes which your honors are to engage. In response to point three of paragraph three of your supplementary memo, it would be an extremely disappointing outcome and a real loss if the opportunity to hear the witnesses, the expert witnesses, is lost. In response to paragraph four of your memo, point four of paragraph three, the civil party submits firstly that expert witnesses are to be distinguished from ordinary and factual witnesses. This has relevance to the scope of matters upon which they can be examined. I refer to your Honour's decision on the 5th of July 2012, its decision E215, entitled Decision on the Assignment of Experts, in which your Honours refer to your previous determination that expert witnesses may be questioned on the entirety of case 2. At paragraph 4 of this decision, your Honours state, as these individuals, the expert witnesses, were proposed prior to the severance of case 2 into a number of trials, and to avoid their unnecessary recall, the Chamber had previously determined that they may be questioned on all matters 
within their knowledge or expertise relevant to, to the entirety of case 2 closing order. Your Honours then go on to say that in light of ensuring an expeditious trial, the parties are reminded that their, that their principal focus, focus of the examination should remain on the subject matter of case 2 slash 1 and questioning on matters beyond this scope should be limited to areas which the parties consider these individuals to be uniquely qualified to answer. President, lawyer for civil party, please slow down for the paper record. My apologies, Your Honours. So, in summary, as the prosecution have already stated in their reference to the memo of the 25th of May 2012, and in light of this decision of the 5th of July 2012, all parties were put on notice that they could prepare their examination relating to expert witnesses on all matters relating to the entire of the closing order in case 2. As the prosecution has already highlighted, this has already been rappelé, applied in practice to David Chandler, who on the 25th of July 2012, 2012 gave evidence regarding the genocide of the Vietnamese. Clearly this is outside the scope of case 2 slash 1. It is relevant to the JCE policies, but more so relevant to other parts of the closing order. In light of all parties having known that expert witnesses may be examined donc, on all parts of the closing order, the, the prejudice caused clôture, in our submission in scheduling uh, these witnesses uh, earlier is reduced. Avant la, que soit rendu de However, cela since the focal areas upon which these experts should be examined remains unknown, Mais there will be some prejudice for all parties, and this is not an ideal situation. For these reasons, the civil parties admit that it would be in the interest of efficient trial management and also in the overall interest of justice for your honours to issue an advanced and summary notice of your determination on the issues of severance and scope, and this advanced notice should be issued as soon as your honours have come to a determination et de, et and before any witnesses are scheduled. A full and reasoned decision, as required by the Supreme Court Chamber, de la de la in two or three languages, can be issued at a later date when it is available. Des témoins, la this solution may not be ideal, but it is in our submission the best solution in all the circumstances. This approach will ensure that there is no undue delay between the hearing of witnesses and the delivery of your Honour's reasoned decision, that no prejudice is caused to parties arising from the uncertainty of the scope of examination, that the examination of expert witnesses will be focused, témoins, cela aussi de mieux cibler that no factual or expert witness will need to be recalled, et cela aussi que de faire re and de it is in our submission des... an approach that should also be applied in respect of any character witnesses et to whom your honours consider could also give factual evidence. Aussi if there is to be an increased scope on the factual allegations in the first trial, it would be prudent in our submission for the time frames allocated to parties for witness examination to be revised. Those are the submissions on behalf of the civil parties on these points. Voici ce que les parties civiles avaient à répondre sur ces deux points. Très rapidement, Monsieur le Président, sur les autres points briefly, points, qui sont, euh, si je ne me trompe pas actuellement, au nombre de deux, je vais I répondre à, à la question 1 de votre point 4 qui concerne les fameux 11 question jours proposés par les procureurs. Je dirais que euh, je comprends l'inquiétude de votre chambre. Je pense que 11 jours pourraient être un peu courts. 
et je crois qu'il vaut mieux en discuter maintenant plutôt que d'en discuter une fois que nous serons à ces fameux 11 jours et pour éviter notamment que le temps à ce moment-là soit limité d'une façon qui serait contraire aux intérêts de certains et en particulier des partis civils. Donc j'ai bien entendu que M. le procureur disait qu'il avait besoin de 11 jours pour entendre les personnes qu'il propose, plus un jour pour les documents. Ça ne me pose aucun problème. J'ai entendu aussi que M. le procureur proposait éventuellement un jour supplémentaire pour les documents de la défense. Et puisqu'il n'en a pas été question, je vais parler en ce qui me concerne des documents et des personnes qui pourraient être proposées par les partis civils. Je crois que très raisonnablement et par respect pour les partis civils, et surtout en tenant compte de ce qu'elles peuvent apporter factuellement, il est quand même important que nous puissions faire entendre quelques partis civils. Quand je dis « quelques », c'est un nombre très restreint, c'est-à-dire peut-être deux ou trois, mais je crois vraiment qu'il serait injuste But et anormal et non productif si nous débattons de S21 de ne pas prévoir deux ou trois parties civiles supplémentaires en plus de celles qui ont été proposées par M. le Procureur. Donc je demande instamment à la Cour de considérer so raisonnablement, encore une fois, que les partis civils souhaitent aussi proposer des partis civils pour S21. Nous avons dit que nous serions en mesure de le faire très rapidement. Ce sera un nombre vraiment très restreint, mais ça suppose quand même au minimum trois jours supplémentaires d'audience. Je ne crois pas qu'en formulant cette demande, j'exagère et j'abuse de notre droit. Donc je voudrais qu'il soit pris en compte maintenant ces jours supplémentaires dont nous avons évidemment besoin dans l'intérêt du procès et dans l'intérêt de la partie que nous défendons. Ça, c'est pour le point numéro un. Je crois que nous n'avons rien à dire en ce qui concerne le point numéro deux puisqu'il appartient évidemment à la défense d'y répondre. En ce qui concerne le point numéro 3, la réponse numéro 3 de votre point numéro 4, votre Chambre a déjà apporté une réponse assez développée dans la décision E96-7 sur les transcripts. Donc, en ce qui nous concerne cette position, cette décision de la Chambre, vous paraît devoir tout simplement être appliqué. Et je préférerais, en ce qui me concerne, attendre que les équipes de défense prennent position, comme la Chambre l'a prévu, et que nous puissions ensuite répondre aux équipes de défense. C'est ce qui est prévu dans votre mémorandum. Et je souhaiterais donc pouvoir éventuellement répondre. Je suppose que... Messieurs les procureurs souhaiteront également répondre à la position des équipes de défense, donc je n'ajouterai rien pour le moment sur ce sujet et je réserve ma réponse à Merci. Merci. Audience est suspendue.